Good afternoon, uh, Division 4C of Rebel. Uh, it's a sad time for me and Hunter because it's the last ever recap of the season for Division 4C. The good news is, though, obviously, I am, as always, partnered by my partner in crime, Crystal Hunter, who's obviously has a glorious week, as he always does. Um, afternoon, Hunter. Yeah, good afternoon, Bernie. Good afternoon, everyone from Division 4C, and goodbye, Division 11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, goodbye, Season 11. Division 11? What? Well, got to be more sad then. Um, oh, it's a sad time. I really enjoyed this division. I really did. Um, it's, it's sad times, but, you know, all good things come to an end, unfortunately. Yeah. And we yeah. at least we still got some uh, another round of um, stuff to do. Um, so let's talk about things that have happened over the week. First of all, before I forget, because I'm such an idiot, I did try and plead last week about saying, please, if you like to recap, vote, send votes to, who was it? Major Bite. Unfortunately, I got it wrong. You have to send your vote to um, Harry and Zod. So if you like our recap and you think we're the, we're the best recap, or just want to take pity on us, send a message to um, Harry and Zod and say, we tip, or we vote for Hunter and Bernie. Uh, sure. I mean, I mean, you can always you can always uh, uh, vote with Herring Sword and then say to Major Byte that you really like us. That's that's also fine. I mean, like <laughs> Major Byte likes the info probably. Yeah. He doesn't do anything with it, but <laughs> yeah, he probably yeah. will like the info. Yeah. No. So. I mean, I know we won't win, but it'd be nice to get a few. So make us feel loved. Make us feel loved, people. Make us feel <laughs> loved. We need to. Um, <clears throat> I also found I also found out this week in Gman that I am the only guy to, to to go undefeated in the whole season and not qualify. So congratulations, Ben. You found another unique trait for yourself. So uh, yeah, congratulations to me for. Um, been yeah, yeah. <laughs> undefeated but not making I, the playoffs. I, I, I think the next season you gotta up it a little bit. Next season you should go undefeated and not win anything and don't qualify. You know, like just play. Yeah, well, it, depend, draws. it depends where they put me. I mean, like I said, like, seven wins, six draws, no losses. I lost three plays in the first game as well. So you know what? I'm I'm happy. I'm you know I'm happy with that. I mean, I might, I might get ahead of things, but you were in Division Three, so they might actually put you in Division Two. Do you know what? Maybe. I I I am gonna weep. If they do that, because my my sole thing of not making the playoffs is come on, you can't put me up. Leave me in bloody three. I don't. I yeah, mean, I thought have, I thought three was high enough anyway. Playoff. Then you have only one playoff spot again. I don't care about the playoffs. <laughs> I want to stay. I want to stay somewhere where my team I can actually live. You know, without getting murdered. Saying that, you know, I don't. I just think um, it'd be nice to stay where I am. You know, I didn't make the playoffs. And to, to put me up to Division Two would be harsh. That's that's what I'm hoping doesn't happen. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, I still haven't made a decision yet if I'm going to keep my chops or not. Because um, obviously, I lost my really good bull. Um, and the only uh, the only thing is, what makes, I'm thinking, oh, shall I shall I stay on? Is because I've got that strength for piling on claw, mighty blow, piece. But my other mighty blow chop rolled a double in the last game of the season, so he's got claw now as well. So. I don't know. I, I feel I, I feel a bit guilty if I if I re-rolled because out of two seasons I've only ever lost one game in the league. So it's but I don't know. We we will see. Um, so I, I had that, and then obviously the tipping competition. I I, I I I picked five, and all five won. I was top of the tipping competition of Rebel playoffs or whatever you want to call it, and I was like, holy fuck, what the hell is going on here? Because obviously the Bernie's curse is the most Third thing in, in Rebel history. If I tip you, you use or lose. Especially if I put the triple B banking on. So it's really, really weird. Obviously, the next day, I think I had seven tips and six lost. So it's the Benny's case is back to normal. So if I tip <laughs> you, you're fucked. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, obviously, you you made the, you made the playoffs and you, 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 you scraped through your last game. You only won 7-0. So you'll need to get yeah. yourself a bit back into I, I, better form. I had it. I had to take it slow because of uh, of, yeah. of saving my team because yeah. I already was in the playoffs basically yeah. so I had to take it a little bit slow and then yeah I only yeah. had to score I, seven. I was a bit uh, disappointed, but, man. I, when I had seven nil, I thought really if you tried you could have made it <laughs> ten, you know. But hey, you know I suppose seven and obviously Bernie two hours buffoon the two TDs for him is he, you know we know who the star in the team is. It's that guy. It's not the coach. It's the gut runner. Um, so you know. <laughs> A lot of love to that guy. He might win you a title, hopefully. You better not bloody lose this first week, because I bloody tipped you to win this week, and I need after yeah. after being 
let down by some of these big guns yesterday, and I am still traumatized. They lost. Well, you need to I get think, me a win. I think you said you you are still gonna do a bit of a playoff recap kind of thing. If I can get uh, if I can get it done, yeah. I mean, it depends if anyone wants to join me. But some of the some of the teams have already played already. Bloody typical. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm looking at that. It might be a case of see. I could I could knock one out. You know, with me just doing it by myself. But then it's like I feel like if I just do it, then it's just my opinion. You know. But I don't know. I I want to do I, one, I, but. I just, I just might get a bit of ahead of myself, but I'm, I'm facing a, a, a really necro huge team. necro team, like 2040 TV. Yeah, but you've got two killers. Uh, you've got Bernie Charles Booth on you. Yeah. You've got Runner. Don't, don't start giving me excuses. I expect to win, well, Hunter. <laughs> Nothing else. I need the win, mate. I need the win. I want the it's... glorious cup. I'm joint top at the moment, thanks to Jameen Rick, who we recap last season. He just won. He's my boy. 3 0 victory. Love you, loads. Um, I, I need you to well, win, well, mate. I don't want I'll excuses. Do my, I'll do my best. We'll no, no, you see. won't do your best. You'll just win. Don't give me your best. I want you to win. I don't care how you do it. Just win. I'm, I'm desperate for wins. You need to win. Of course. I'll, I'll, no I'll, pressure. I'll, I'll aim for it. It's just, <laughs> it's just a really tough team to play against with skating. No, with. I, no I'm not having that. You're going to win. I, I don't care. <laughs> you win tonight or I'll be crying in my pillow. What I, go, I can't believe Hunter failed me. And you're probably saying the same thing. I can't believe Bernie cursed me. I'll with yeah, friends. Po probably, probably. But um, seriously, I hope you do well. And obviously, I hope some of the other guys do. Um, Quick Linus, obviously, I, I, I tipped him last week again. I, I gave him two triple bankers on a, on a row and everything went wrong for him, bless him. So I I, I, I didn't look at... I, I know he's playing against Wood so was really, really tough. But I thought, you know what? Like I did with Uvisak, uh, I, did, I, I haven't picked him. And every time I don't pick him, Uvisak wins. So, and obviously, he but won. But this like, is... This is the interesting thing about uh, Quiganus. Uh, just just heading to that match really quick. I'm not going to gonna go into the specifics. But like... Uh, versus Novo Yellow Horns. Novo Yellow Horns have been in a position where they actually controlled um, who, who, who would go to the playoffs because they mm -hmm. they were playing against the top players mm -hmm. in the last three weeks in a row, I think. Yeah, he's, he's done well as Arctic Antarctic. And he's been he's been he's been manhandling yeah. them. The problem with Kuganis though is everything went wrong from kick off rock to the face of one of his lizards what was a, an injury so he had to uh, use Zappos straight away even though he had a loads of it, just nothing went right he could have scored rolled a double one or something like that on GFI and, and that injured his player and, and it, you know, it just all went wrong so I thought right okay Quiggy I don't want to put you off I know, I know, you know, I, I, I just felt really bad. So like with UV, what cost me a bloody win as well UV, I know you probably won't be listening but I'm still going to moan about it um, I said to Quiggy look mate I'll, 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 I'll be as nice as possible for you I haven't tipped you I've tipped the Wood Elf guy and I did the same for Aprog as well I thought you know what I won't tip you even though I think you've got a good chance I won't tip you so you two have not got the bear in his case so but you know what I hope <laughs> I hope you know the, the win you know even though I've tipped against them I hope they both obviously win um, so you know don't be offended if you see I am tipsy. It's just because I, I didn't did want to curse you. That's still Hunter though. Don't get away with that. Don't get away with that. I expect him to win without, even if I do curse him. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's sad that we, we, we you know, we, we're going. And um, I, this is why I like doing the recaps. I was speaking to someone. I can't remember who it was off air, and they're saying, God, you know, you. I think was it was McNaughton. It was somebody, and there was on about God. Do you still do your like, as they say, four-hour recap sort of thing? You know, and because they know it takes a lot of effort. And I, and I said to him, I said, look. You know, we, we, we're not the most professional, and you know, there's other people with other gadgets. What I'm learning at the moment, so we'll get a few of them next season. But the thing to me is, I like doing these recaps, and I, you know, I know it takes us a long time to do them, but it's because of people like these guys, you know, who uh, yeah. you, you make new friends, and um, you get to know people, get to know the teams and the history and, and, and the coaches themselves. We got some of the guys on, didn't we? And it was all brilliant the people we got on, and this is yeah, why definitely. I do it. And, and if, if if people enjoy it. Then I'll keep doing it, you know. Um, and I, I've really, really enjoyed Division Four. See, I mean, we've had we've had the quizzes, you and, know, what was great. And to, and, be, to be yeah. fair, like the recaps could have been even longer because, like, we didn't yeah. do a lot of, of, of segments with the with the replays that we yeah that yeah we, we had to, to we so. had to cut we had to cut it down. Um, yeah, uh, and like next next season, I'm I'm looking into what else I can do and that. Obviously, um, you're with me for one of the recaps, so I am probably going to be looking for somebody else to fill in for another recap. So, you know, if anybody's interested or crazy enough, mad enough, who wants to join me for um, to do a, a divisional recap next season, <laughs> then let me know by Discord.
Don't all rush at once. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you know, I've broken Hunter. I've broken him. But because he's a champ, he's still going to do one with me. But he, he's starting to mumble a lot now off air. So um, I need somebody <laughs> else to, you know, to... No. Um, it's it's, it's 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 a lot of fun to do the recaps with Bernie. Generally, it's just like um, it's the reason work, why I'm. It? It's it's a lot of work. That's that's one thing. Um, the reason why I'm doing it less is also like I, I'm playing everywhere. Like I'm playing in OCC. I'm playing in the Rebel Clan League. You I'm are. playing uh, the Rebel General League. I'm playing CCL, which is taking a lot of time lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I, I don't really have time for everything. And and yeah. I, I enjoy doing the recaps with Bernie, but it's it's taking it's mm. taking a lot of energy from me uh, yeah. next to doing the whole competitive thing. So and, I and, hope someone steps up. Yeah, and, and, uh, and to be fair to Hunter, I mean he was always going to do one this season, but like a champ, he said, you know what, I'll do the two for you this season, and then obviously you know. Uh, but it is, I mean, I, I'm sure there's people who probably do recaps, and you know, and, and it is a lot of it is a lot of work. I mean, I only can do two two recaps because I, I retired from doing champion ladder. Um, otherwise, I I would. I won't be able to do it either. So, and obviously, Chris Hunt's a bit of a rock star. You know, he's a, he's one of those big dudes, isn't he? In in, in the uh, in in the PC, so everyone knows who he is. So he's 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 got to do all these stuff, as well as do his doing his uh, his own his own real things in real life. So um, we'll still have him. So um, you know, yeah, he, and, he, and, he will and... be about. Hey, I can I can always jump in from time to time if mm-hmm. if it's necessary or yeah. or be a guest or anything else if if guys want me on. Yeah. It's, it's it's not it's not that big of a deal, but it's it's just um, a lot of work to to just prepare things for for one mm-hmm. recap. And I'm thinking like I want to put my all my energy in one division and then yeah yeah do it yeah. like that. So there you go. So you may see me, may not, but um, there you go. So anyway, let's let's get on with it. I feel a bit sad because this is our last show, but hey, we've got to do it. <laughs> so let's go to the results um, of the week, and I'm going to start off with a bit of a uh, bit of a bit of a bit of um. What can I say? A bit of happiness here because you know what? Everybody thought Iron Madden was going to win this game. Even even Hunter thought Iron Madden was going to win this game. But there's one person out there who said, "No, I trust my Lines will win this game." Bernie went for them. Yes, I did. I had every faith in him, and he brung home the bacon. Four three win for my Lines is obviously a great way to end their career by beating the most scariest team of Rebel in Iron Madden, who casually did four three. Armor breaks out of 46 blocks. That's impressive. Seven KOs, eight injuries, and he killed two rats. So, you know, this is why I like, um, you know, you know Hazard. I, I, he got absolutely mullered, but he still won. I, I don't know if there's a separate price for, um, uh, for for end of the season hero, so to speak, or big upset, so to speak. But mm-hmm. um, if, if I had to give it to anyone, uh, Marginal or Norris would definitely be, be the one because, like, uh, the way he's been playing this season like uh, like i've been stating this before like tons of times but mm-hmm. it's been it's been a, a casualty after casualty game you know it's mm-hmm. it's been so rough for him and just being able to win this kind of game of, or or draw this kind of game it's it's exceptional yeah um, it is it's, it is really good um I mean, the thing is, I mean, I will say, I imagine had to win by some crazy scores, so he was pushing for scores. So that obviously played in the hands of the rats, but when you see the carnage, 46 blocks, 7 KOs, 8 injuries, and 2 kills, and the annoyance is still won. I mean, that, yeah, I know the rats, but that's still impressive. But then that's why I tipped him, because I knew if anybody could be I imagine, it'd be them guys. And they did, and obviously Wasp survived, so all good there. Um, and and, it, sounds, you know, it's, it sounds weird to say, because like the team is... is, is better to pieces like it's 720 tv left for something mm-hmm. and um they they have to start a new team and and they have to start all over so it's weird to say this but they can actually the, like hazard can actually be really proud of of looking back at the season and and, and what yeah. he did here because like uh, it's it's something you rarely see yeah. like this kind of thing is, is something you rarely see i'll tell you one thing though i'm really excited to watch i am next season i hope he's not in my division um Another 33 XP. He's just cracking 30 XP almost every game. This team is scary. Yeah, 33 XP you got. 33. There, 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 is, there is a small chance that he has to Division 3. And if you stay in Division 3, like... Oh, I'll get him. I'll get him. No doubt about it. Yeah. Um, but I, I just think it, I just think it seems so scary. And he's just going to cause carnage. Um, so he lost the game. But, I mean, it was going to be really hard for him to, to win anyway. Um, although I don't know if it was him who said he got a bit of misinformation and 
he didn't need to win by that many and if he'd have gone with a different way he, he could have actually qualified so so I don't know um, but this team you do not want in your division I mean, we did we did we did say the touring the last recap that also like um, there is a possibility that that the, the best sphere yeah. place would go through so we did state that yeah so we, we did yeah um, 20 if, points if, for anointers as well by the way so they, they did I, all right as well I don't know, but if he watched the whole recap, I don't know if he watched the whole recap, but if he watched the whole recap, then uh, he must have noticed that. Yeah. Nonetheless. Yeah. He, he, he won about Uzzers and somebody else. So. Um, now, this was a big surprise, this one. Conker's Revenge versus Bonfire Boo. Bonfire Boo, 3 0, and there was the top stunty team or something, so they made the playoffs. So I was really, really they happy. They made the Cup. Oh, you, all right, I hate this bloody thing. The Challengers Cup. He made the Challengers Cup. And I didn't tip you out of there. Uh, I knew that. I was looking for the third team. I was like, I'm going mad. I'm sure there's another team in the in the you know in the play of slash challenges. And it was this guy. So I was really, 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 really happy for him. And this was a crazy result. 3 0. I never saw this coming. Um pretty sure David got his stuff on. He was doing well. There was something really sad what happened though, and I'll say now before spoiler alert. Um Conker's Revenge lost their strength for club piece. He was dead after this game. And uh, oh. the reason why I say that's gutted is because, um, he, he obviously, this team's retiring, but that guy could have gone to another trophy team. And I didn't want that player. So I'm thinking, oh, great. Someone else will pinch that guy. And I might have a slim chance against Preacher David, but because he hasn't got that bloody guy anymore, because he freaking died. How selfish of that trophy. Um, you know, th- th- that slim chance of me against Preacher David's probably gone out the window. Um, but yeah, I, I couldn't see this coming at all. I, I must admit, uh, it was just pure carnage. We, even Zangief, the ogre dad, as well. It was just. It was. Uh, we'll have a look at the teams afterwards. But yeah, there was complete carnage in this game. Um, and and the funny thing was, there wasn't that many blocks thrown. Uh, Thirty-seven blocks for the Conkers. Five KOs. Eight injuries. Killed three players. Why not? Let's get the hat trick. Uh, both I boot. Twenty-seven blocks. Two KOs. Three injuries. And you know what? I'll kill one as well. It was carnage. It must have been a crazy game. But three nil. I don't know how the hell the ogres got three, but they did. Um, Preacher David, though. Bless you. I'll miss you, buddy. Um, eight points for him. He did four casually. He's my bro. Gonna miss him. Um, Triple Dub School's got two points. So he does get a level up. So I'm fingers crossed he gets claw. But then again, maybe he's like, nah, I'm not going to even claw because I might end up going against him. Um, greatest Tismo, another great name. He got four points and going to get claw someday. He got seven. Uh, bottom five, boom. They obviously lost Zangi, but they did get some XP. Although whichever one of these got car crashed, I don't know. But they got... Um, 20 XP as well, but um, yeah, that was a big shock for me. Really was. Um, so I, we we both yeah. got that one wrong. We both obviously went for that. Uh, the next game though, Tabard Tellers versus Thank You Parents. Um, you was on the Tabard Tellers train. Choo choo. Uh, but they they've been derailed of late, and I couldn't trust him to get this done. But then I thought, could Thank You Parents be trusted to get this done? And I wasn't sure, so I said, you know what, I'm going to go for the draw. But one one draw, another one for me. Um, so um, yeah, I've got every time I get some right. Crystal, I've got to, I've got to milk it as best I can because I don't get many of these right. Um, so one one draw, so fair enough, all all, all good for them. Um, only one pass on the tellers though. I was really surprised. I expected, oh yeah, probably she likes to pass the ball a lot. So maybe you thought, you know what, I want to win this one. I want to, I want to finish the season on, on a high. But unfortunately, he couldn't. He did get forty blocks, four KOs, and one injury as well, and that was a decent injury. Um, and thank you, parents, twenty-seven blocks, two KOs. But thank you, parents. I think they, they've done really well. They had a really bad start to the season, um, and, yeah. and progressively got better and better and better. And obviously, they did hold the moist outlets to a four-four draw. So you know, being see if I, I'm hoping both these teams will keep their teams. Um, at the end yeah. of the season, um, and um, XP wise, it was a bit rubbish. To be fair, I, I think they will. Like the last few matches, there there hasn't been too much trouble for them yeah. uh, on the injury skill. So yeah. it's 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 been fine for them. And uh, uh, yeah, just hope they uh, they can do a bit better next season and 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 yeah, try to go for the higher spots. Yeah. It's that simple. Yeah, um, eleven points of XP for Tabar Tellers and nine for the parents. Now, the next game was a big one. Every game I'm not for Lynn versus Moist Outlets. And, uh, you know, this is an interesting one. Again, Hunter picked the loser, so Hunter's cursing everyone this week. He went for every game I'm not for Lynn, but you know what? I went with my bro, the Moist Outlets. The, the team I tipped to win the league. Full league. I tipped these boys, and they did not um, let me down. A thumping 3-1 win over a team what was in supreme form beforehand. But uh, the outlets got it done. When they needed to get that big W, yeah. they got it done. So well, um, yeah, it's, it, 
I mean, like um, uh, when we did the predictions, I, I feel like I felt like it wouldn't be a surprise if Moise Salas won either, of course. No. So like it's both both teams had a solid chance to win, and yeah, uh, with an edgy versus edgy matchup, this is sometimes kind of a coin flip. Um, it was, wasn't it? it? It's a close one. I mean, I was thinking the tip in here, you know, this was because every game enough of them been in brilliant form, really good form, yeah. haven't they? Yeah, they, 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 they've they really uh, been putting their act together and been been winning the last few games. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, luckily for APROC, they, they managed to pull through and uh, and, and get 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 the playoff spot in yeah. that way. Yeah. So, yeah, this was this was pretty vital to win anyway. Um, because they didn't know what what Quigranas would do, of course. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it's good for them. Yeah, every game in Uffland, I'm really impressed with them. I think they'll they they they'll be right up there at the end uh, end of next season, uh, hoping. Um, yeah. And they they got 40 in XP. The team's looking nice. And then the Owlets again, they just fantastic again. And they got themselves 18 points. And they got some level ups as well, but we'll talk about soon. But yeah, the Owlets got it done. What meant they would finish top of their league. Now then, Sapphire saw right no heroics for them as they went down to a disappointing two nil victory, uh, two two nil defeat to the Sneaky Blanders. Um, and both of us, both of us, sorry, went for the Sapphire. Sorry, what were you going to say? Sorry, Hunter. Also a surprise this one. This yeah, is, I, I did. Also... I died. It, maybe this was a. I mean, there was quite a bit of carnage in this one. Um, but I, I, I think maybe it was just. I don't know. He was just, oh, well, I'm not going to be playing this team this next season. So it is what it is. I mean, there's not much riding on the game. There's probably more riding on the sneaky planners because they're going to keep theirs. But he did get a lot of injuries. He only threw 22 blocks, but he did get two Ks and five injuries. And some of those were key injuries. So that's maybe you know, the reason why, obviously, the Blanders won. Um, and then the Sapphire only did yeah. 31 blocks, just three Ks. Um, yeah, I, I, must admit, I was hoping Sapphire would get this done, but... No, they got smashed completely. And there's a lot of XP for uh, the Blinders as well. So if they're keeping this team, they'll be loving it. Uh, they, they got 21 XP and a good win for them. So I'm really happy they got themselves another win. So this is their best season to date. Um, win whereas, so that's well done. So congratulations to him. Yeah. And uh, just I, I, five points for the Sapphire. I guess like Sneaky Blinders got a really good team. Let's not forget that. So if yeah. they... they... They should be capable of, of, of pushing these results down and, yeah. and, and inf- inflicting a lot of casualty. Mm-hmm. So it's it's good to see that they uh, that they, they did this done. in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah they got it done. Um, bad boss Reddit versus Total Legend Elves. Well, I I tried. Um, I mean, you got this is one you got right. You you saw sense and went with the dwarfs. <laughs> I just could not tip against the elves. I was hoping for a, a swan song. But then Nasty Dwarf said, no, Benny, we want the win. And they just smashed up the... I mean, you, you say about marginal annoyances need a medal. Um, I think Luck Laser needs a medal as well. The way he's just he's been going at it. I mean, his team's been yeah. broken in half so many times. Um, oh, it was just ridiculous. Um, 35 yeah, blocks was... for the Dwarfs. Three KOs, five injuries. And they were some bad injuries as well, if I remember. <laughs> Uh, as, as well, well, why wouldn't they be? Um, but I mean, the elves got four passes, four catches. You know, they got they did twenty blocks and just nah, anything. Um, so yeah, the Battle of Reddit have got some good, getting some good form. So I hope they they stay. I assume that the totally original elves will re as well. Uh, oh yeah, he's already said uh, that. Yeah, he's already said that. So yeah, do, but um, yeah, uh, it's, it's 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 fine. Like uh, sometimes, sometimes a season like this, you have this kind of season where everything falls apart. Yeah. Um. I I I've had it in in OCC a lot of well in one division in early in the season like after the second game and then you still have to play seven games knowing that your team is semi dead. So yeah. that's that's really that's it's it's really not a not not a nice thing to 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 do you know because every week you're thinking like okay I I, I kind of want the season to be over to Riro or or that kind of thing. Well, this is why uh, I have a lot of respect for these guys. Because yeah, that's 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 why I, why, why I was going through like 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 doing that is is really respectable. Like like getting through that season and and, and yeah. fighting through is yeah. uh, it's it's good to see. Like yeah. some people are really selfish and they just uh, they just stop well, mid season and don't care anymore. And uh, well, that that's and, and, when 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 I was speaking to somebody off off air and they said, "God, Benny got a good record, seven six and oh, how come he didn't qualify?" And I said, "It's because people, you know, played against me, then decided, you know what, I'm just gonna quit." So near the end of the season when we was all fighting for like you know wins and that. I was fighting and losing plays trying to get these wins and because other people had given up um, you know that my opponents who hadn't played them yet they just got the three wins and it was just too much in the end I mean I think Showman and it's not Showman's fault I think he got about three uh, bye wins and a, a guy who 
played against me and, and, and retired three of my players, decided to quit half time, even though he had a wizard and two apples and his team was fine, he just quit half time and gave him the win. And, you know, I'm pretty salty with that one, for definite. Um, not Showman's fault, and I love Showman's a bit, so... But, you know, when, you, when you're against things like that, it's really hard, and, you know... And it, it was a frustrating season for me. I still enjoyed it, because I enjoy Rebel, but, you know, it's things like that. And then when I see, like, the, the likes of Look Lazy with Tall Original Elves, and obviously we saw Magical Annoyances and that, and other coaches who have gone through the ring, I re- it makes me respect them more, that there's like, you know what? You know, I'm going to retire. I've got nothing to play for. Uh, I'm going to be real next season. But you know what? There's still... For, for the, the love of the competition to make it as fair as possible, they're still playing. And I have total respect for that because if, I, I you know, you can never say 100% I would have qualified, but I think if the the, the coaches in my division had, had the same attitude as of, of this division, I would have probably made the playoffs. Would have would have been totally different. Then, it yeah. would have been. It would have been. Uh, so they, they should they should they should penalize that even yeah. harder. Like like every time you you forget uh, forget the match or, or concede the match, you know. Just, just get an electric shock and and, and mm. <laughs> make sure that. that or, 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 get, or, or get or get a season's tips of Bernie yeah. Triple B bankers every week. They get Triple B bank by Bernie. Yeah, that that'll make sure. <laughs> Maybe that's what we should have as a punishment. But um, so yeah, I, I, I totally a lot of lot of respect for 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 this guy. I'm um, look lazy. I'm um, so well done there, mate. And obviously he'll be relieved. He'll have a full team next season. But yeah, the the the, the dwarfs did well. They got themselves 21 points. So well done to them. And they're 12 points for the else, but they were all about that. Um, and then finally, the last one, uh, yeah, this this is where it all went P-Tong. I thought, I really shouldn't have triple B banged him because it was a bad matchup for him, but I thought, you know what, maybe it was that what helped him win last week, so we'll keep it. And yeah. at the kickoff, a rock to his best player, his best Soros, injured. Use, had to use his Apple was not ideal when you're against um, a claw team. Yeah. And nothing went well. Um, nothing went right for him. Um, he failed the JFI to score to make it 1-1 in the end zone. Um, and got injured himself, I think, and nothing went right for him. Nothing yellow horn uh, played well as always. They 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 will be bouncing. They'll want to be playing straight away next season because they, like you've already said, they've been in really good form. They've they've done really well against all the top teams. Obviously, they beat the Quick Runners. Um, you know, you got good draws against obviously the Moists and the, and and the, the Chaffs. So he you know he is in a really really good form. Sixty one blocks as well. Seven curves, one eight injury, one kill. It probably liked a bit more carnage, but. I mean, impressive ah. uh, victory for him, all the same. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sad about this, and I'll tell you why. I, I have, I have nothing against Aprok. Like I, I'm, that I, the fact that Aprok uh, qualified for the playoffs is, is, is nice, you know. But mm-hmm. um, um, I kind of wanted Quiggy also to, to qualify for the mm-hmm. playoffs because, like, um, I said to him, like, there's, there's a chance that when, mm-hmm. uh, when you qualify for the playoffs, at, at some point you have to face me in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. And then he said, "Like I look forward to eliminating you." <laughs> so I was, I was, I was already getting ready to give him the most serious whooping of his lifetime in the playoffs. <laughs> but well, you never know. He, you, you both might be in the same division next season. Yeah, so I have to wait next season then. That's, that's also fine. That but like, uh, <laughs> I kind of wanted that to happen, but it's okay. Like, uh, we'll, 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 we'll probably get each other next season and then uh, oh, well, that'll be good I mean I, I mean, obviously with, with um, Safai Sorai now um, getting deleted uh, you know the Kuguanas need another rival to have that you know rivalry with so he's picked you and says right we're going to smack your rats um, so you know it should be good it should be good personally I think um, uh, Chris Allen should be in Division 1 next season um, well it depends on how well I do in the playoffs well, if you course, win it like... if you win it I'll be bloody petitioning at Metal's door saying, put him in Division 1, we don't want him. Too scary, uh, too good. The, fu- the, the, funny, the, the funny thing is, like, even if I make it to the Final 8 or Final 4, you could actually s- technically say, like, well, there is some, some, some few points where you could say, like, I could go to Division 1 because I had to beat every Division 1 coach getting towards yeah, the, yeah. the Final 4 because I have a horrible bracket where I'm, where I'm in at the moment. Yeah. So... Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see how how they we'll how see. they but it, um, it, uh, it depends as well. I, I, I think quite a few are, are re-rolling. I mean, obviously, Bleed and Hippie said he, oh, he he did come out and said he was re-rolling, and I think there's a few others who might be re-rolling. So that doesn't help. That'll mean more will get pushed up, I guess. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll have to see. But I was just looking at my sort of thing where obviously I finished joint top, but obviously I lost on TD differences. So I was only second, and I was pushed up two divisions. You you'll be the you you'll be the first guy that's that's gonna be. 
by the way, because you didn't qualify and that kind of thing, I think you're the first non-qualifier that they'll look at um, into moving a division up. Now. Yeah, I know. And that sucks. Because you know. <laughs> I thought Division 3 was too high for me anyway. Um, but nah. what can you say to them? What can you say to them? Look, you put me in a higher division. It was ridiculous to do half for me. And then they'll say, Ben, what was your record? How many did you lose? Yeah. None. Right then. So obviously your team did all right. Yeah, but, you know, you could have given me an easy bloody, you know. You know, there's only one season, you know, um, old. So I hope they don't. But if they do, they do. I mean, what can I do? I just have to play. But I think, it, in all fairness, all all the playoff teams should go up first before they look at everybody else. But we, we will see. Wherever I play... I will play, but I've still not decided if I'm going to keep my trophies yet, so I might re-roll yeah. anyway. You'll be fine. You'll be fine anyway. Because bleeding hippies re-rolled, and I want to play bleeding hippie. I tried to get it. I tried to get him in the cross platform cup. I tried my hardest. I wanted him, but uh, <laughs> didn't get him. So you know, I might try and go back that way. Um, so that that'd be quite good. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, quick runners. You know, good luck in the playoffs. It's going to be a hard one for you though, because we're against Wood Elves. I can't think of anything worse to play. But he does have that tag, diving tag old Crocs to go, so hopefully he'll do all right for him. Um, but he got 11 XP this this game, and Nuffle Jail Hones, they got 10. So that is the full season. And as we can see, when we go to the leaderboard, the moist outlet, Apro, congratulations. He is your champion and goes straight to the playoffs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kugranis, congratulations to him. He goes to the challenge playoffs. As does Bonefighter Boo, who won this stunty thing. So well done, Tim. We're sending three of them to the playoffs. If one of you guys can win it, fantastic. That would be awesome. Um, oh, man. It's been an amazing, amazing season. Oh, God. It's been a lot of fun. It's, it's been a lot of fun, and we've had a lot of these guys on. They're all characters, and they've come onto the show, and we've had a great laugh with them. Um, yeah. So, you know, well done. And even Seeky Blinders, even though they finished bottom, they got another win. So I'm, I'm happy for them, and hopefully they'll, they'll keep their team. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot to look forward to next season. Obviously, Conquest Revenge, they're retiring as well. But I think I Madden's a team to watch next season. Um, obviously, the Owlette as well. It'll be good to see how Quiggy goes in the higher division. Uh, the Nuffley Yell Hunts finished really strong in the end. Lost two all season, so they're, they're a team to watch out for. Every game I'm Nuffling, they finished like a train. So they'll be another team I'm, I'm going to be looking at. And I'll be looking for Look Lazy with a proper fresh team to see if he can get it done as well. And Cthulhu Collect, he's going to go with Goblin, so that'll be a lot of fun as well. So... All good there. So let's go to the final part of the show. We'll just have a quick look at the teams. And then, sadly, we are done. Um, so let me get my... Well, what we up to first? Every game I'm not for Lynn. Right, here we go yeah. then. Let's have a quick look. Right then. Um, number one leveled up. Um, if I've got the right... I've got the... Yeah, Cracker. Um, he leveled up and he got Guard. And that was his yeah. uh, Rattoga. So, yeah, that's a solid choice. And number 11, what happens to number 11? Slinky Beastmaster. Um, why have I got him down there? Because you got Tackle? I don't know. Yes. Yes. I knew I had you here for some reason. He said leveled up, but then for some reason I thought you already had Tackle, but obviously he didn't. So he's took Tackle, so he's got two strength, four Tackle pieces. So not bad. Um, no injuries, so that's all good. Again, this team, I think... He's got two uh, movement 10 go runners. He's got the enforcer in number two. And number three is not bad either. Um, team got in some good form late last season. Uh, sorry, late this season. I think this team next season will do really, really well. I think that he'll be able to keep in this division as well. Will make him really, yeah. really dangerous. Um, and um, I really do predict big things for next season. I really do. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know about you. You're, you're, you're more the rat coach than I am. And apparently, I think it is this story was on, on my YouTube who left a comment saying... Um, you know that you'd helped him a lot, so well done to Mr. Hunter. So it's good. It's just good that you know we can help oh, people. He's so. he's very welcome, and 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 I will definitely keep an, an eye on him, regardless of where he ends up in the next season. Mm-hmm. Um, if he if he ever if he ever wants to know something or or has some questions or anything, like he can always he can always hit me up. Like yeah. he, he knows where I where I'm on Discord or anything. Yeah, he can always ask a question or. or yeah. Um, yeah. So this, Talk to me this, in general. This to me is a team to watch next season for certain. Um, so yeah. if I saw I, I'm not really going to go into these much apart from well, um, I wish him all the best with um, his goblins next season. But I will tell you that um, HG Wells, um, was it H? Have I got the right bloody? I've got him down as missing next game. I'm just looking if I've looking at the right bloody. You know what? I I'm looking probably at the wrong bloody fucking list. I am. I'm looking at the wrong list. That was two weeks ago. Oh, am I? Hang on. I'm old, guys. I'm old. 
See, now, now you run into the problem that I had when I was noting them. <laughs> this is, yeah, I, cause I went back and checked stuff because I, I tipped a few winners. I was celebrating, so I went so far back. I, I thought I was going a bit dual alley. I honestly thought. Um, so, um, every game I'm nuffling, he, nothing happened this week, so he, he didn't get the levels on nothing. Right. Um, sci fi, sorry, now then. This, this reads a lot more like I expected. Um, number one, I can't pronounce his name. The Exo hen score movement now side step show feet block skink dead yeah. um and then robert um a heinlein you know heinlein or what you want to call him and um, he got a minus one movement and then the crocs got a niggle so if he was thinking about maybe not re-rolling he just has now um he got one level up but he unpicked it hb and piper but there you go i'm not um, gonna really say much about this team because it's gone um but all I'll say to Cthulhu is this, you know, it was a pleasure. It was always a lot of fun when I talked to you. And obviously you're going to have a lot of good fun last um, next season with Goblins. But just take out of this, this was a really good season for you. You did a lot better this season. And I wish you all the best um, for next season with the Goblins. Same same for me. And uh, I had only agree with him rolling here. Like, uh, if you look at the situation in the end, this is why I say, like, um, wait a thinking about re-rolling until the last game because like everything can change um, in, in before the last game i would have kept this team but after this game yeah yeah you know what can you do so i i can understand why he's re-rolling now definitely yeah i mean it, it's just one of those things isn't it i mean it sucks but you know he'll, he'll have a lot of fun with goblins and you know when he does win a few games with goblins he'll, he'll think he's is is the number one yeah. in the world so you know as long as, long as you have, and this is it you know as long as you have fun a lot of people just play for the fun of it you know you be, you, people get too roped into must win everything so at the end of the day only one person well it's now two people can win cups now but you know if, you, if you're going into that sole purpose then you, you're missing out he'll, he'll, be, he'll be in the stunt He'll be in the Stunty Cup as well. So oh, yeah, he'll be in the Stunty Cup so he could win that and get yeah. in the playoffs that way. I forgot about that. I keep forgetting about that. Well done. Um, so, yeah, good luck with that. And I've just gone to the wrong page. Uh, right, Bad Dwarfs read it. They got themselves a good win. Did they get in a level up? Number five leveled up. Um, Black Stenner. What a name that is. And he went with um, Guard. So, yeah, more Guard for there. Um, and obviously, you'd think maybe Stan Firm next for that guy. Now he's got Now he's got Blodge. Yeah, it's uh, it's starting it's starting to look like the the general dwarf build up again. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I think he lost a few players because I, I thought Gengar, he had more guards. I think Gengar took him to the cleaners. Yeah. Well, like he's just by every team. Um, but again, you know, obviously the only concern here is he's only got ten players and thirty k in the bank, so that's a concern. But again, he should be in this division again. Oh, I, I, I should really say that because I have nothing to do with who's in what division. But looking at the standards, you think he's probably going to stay in this division. Um, so, um, yeah. I think, to me, he's going to have a chance. But I think they'll still need the season before they become contenders. I don't think I don't think they'll qualify next season. Now I've said that, they will. So you're welcome. But, uh, <laughs> you know. Right, Quiggy oh, well, well. or Extreme. I call him Quiggy. I'll always call him Quiggy. I try and call him Extreme, but I don't. I just love Quiggy. Um, yeah. I, I'm really so happy this guy made it. Um, I love him to bits. I really do. And I hope he does really, really well. Um, yeah, inter- he's a good in- lad. Interesting, though. I'll tell, tell you an interesting story about this. Um, I, was, I, was, I was checking the, the, the G, I think it was G-Man um, chat. And I don't always check all the chats. on so many chats. And he was giving it to some guy. It really was smack talking the guy. I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit! Look at Quiggy go, man! He's really... I'm gonna wreck your team and all this." It was out of that was I was dreaming about it, but I was like, "Bloody hell! He was certainly getting his straw. He was, it was like, you know what? I'll fuck that hunter over, and I'll fuck you over as well. Don't mess with me." And that fucking Gengar, I was like, "Oh, we'll fuck him over." Like, "Oh, don't fuck him over." He didn't say that, but that sort of impression that he was he was giving out. It was like, "Like you go, extra. He's he's really he's really rallied. His team's ready to murder some in the uh, in the in the uh, the challenge, and he's against Wood Elves. So then, poor Wood Elves better be on their game and be, be able to dodge because otherwise he's gonna break the full team. So uh, I, I haven't yeah. seen that from him before. He's usually quite nice to me, but he was like really get, laying down the law and like, go oh, quick, look at him go, man. He was like a different person. I actually thought maybe someone had hacked his account and, and done something, but he, he was, <laughs> maybe someone had upset him or something, but he was like, I'm going to have you, I'm going to have you, you're going to get it, you're going to get it. I've played him, beat him, don't care, not scared, you're all dying. Long as Benny doesn't hit me. Um, yeah, you know. I, I like I, I like Wiggy, and this is... It's, I love uh, him. He, he is, he's just also like really... 
he, he really knows. Uh, he has a bit of, a bit of a self. Uh, yeah, he has a high self-esteem, so to speak. Uh, so he, he really, he really likes to to make. Yeah. Yeah, to, to talk smack, like you said. <laughs> are, you, are you trying, trying to be politically correct here? I, I feel like you're trying to say, say, say it in a nice way. Um, but no, yeah, I, 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 I like trying. the guy. I mean, obviously, he called you out what is always great. Obviously, give yeah. Gengar a bit of it, I think, when he won. Um, I, I love the guy. I, I like Quiggy. As long as, long as, I, keeps, yeah. long as he keeps nice to me, I'm all right. But um, no, I, 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 I love the guy. And I, I I looked when I saw where you were in the chat. Oh, God, please, not Wood Elves. Oh, oh kill a claw because that'd be disastrous and he got what else like oh no 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 what else but i thought you know what don't back him don't back him and hopefully i can get the other player um and so, and and, and, and he proved gengar wrong you know yeah. gengar said he's gonna make handbags out of those uh, out of those players and they haven't become handbags but next season i'll, I'll make shoes out of them so that's, that's, <laughs> that's... <laughs> i mean to be fair i i was on that train as well we gengar i mean I, but you know i i really liked the way Quiggy's in there because like I said before this season you know his, his record wasn't great and as I I mean obviously I talked to Quiggy a bit on Discord you know privately um, and uh, you know he understands the same as me you know that he's improved so much because he hasn't been playing the game that long and the, 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 his record this, this season has been really good yeah you are going to be good that he didn't make the players but to me you still made you know I didn't make it you know I've been playing this freaking game for how many years but over 20 years and I didn't bloody make it you know, so, you know, you, you, you're there, enjoy it, what will be, will be, if you win, fantastic, well, if you lose, who gives a shit, you, long you try your best. We've been recapping three, the, three divisions in total now, so we have we have seen a fair amount of players play, Yeah. and um, this is this is a guy that hasn't qualified for the playoffs, but he, he, has, show, he has shown solid play, like, we've, we've been watching his games and he's, he's been showing solid play, and there have been some people that, that actually have qualified for the playoffs, and played less solidly in my opinion mm. so he definitely has a chance to yeah um get into the playoffs next season i, I wouldn't be too bothered about i, about I, I think i think it's it the thing with the extra uh i can't i can't, I can't i'm gonna keep going quick trying to is it, there's a few things what i'm excited about first of all he's made the challenge i i like calling the playoffs because it's still a cup you've still made a cup all right it's not the, not the playoffs is people keep reminding me but he's still made one of the cups there's only two cups you can win and you're in one of them you know, yeah. so you know that to me, I don't. I, uh, sometimes I think when people say it's a bit negative and say, "Oh, well, you want to make the challenge?" It's like, "Fuck that, man!" You, you know, I'm getting excited. I might win a cup. You know, like a, a mug. You know, so bloody hell! You know, being the challenge thing, fantastic. And you've got to look at you have to look realistically where you've come from. You know, you, you you've struggled for a few seasons. You got you've improved. You improved. You improved your play. And obviously, Hunter's impressed with the way you played, and Hunter's a fucker for it. He, I mean, he, he will not say you're playing well if you aren't. So if you're impressing Hunter. Then you, exactly. you're already doing well. Um, and 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 if you can't make the Champions League, you can still be happy that you made the UEFA Cup. So it's 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 okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. The- but the thing is, you see these teams like when they win the UEFA Cup and football, you know, and they've maybe been in the Champions League the season before, and, and they win the UEFA Cup. They're not going around miserable though. They're, they're, they're throwing the champagne about. They're really excited. They want to win it, and the you know they're loving exactly. it. And so at the end of the day, it's a cup. You know, you if you win the cup, it's fantastic. But um, I'm interested to see how he, he does next season because he will go up a division. You know, he's been in four. Now he's going to probably going to either Division 3 or Division 2. And that is a lot tougher. And I, I can't wait to see how he does. And there's a lot more scary teams up there as well. He's, In my opinion, you've faced the most scary team I've ever laid my eyes on in Gengar. <laughs> and I tell you what, wouldn't it be interesting if Gengar folded him up and they're both in the same division again? God, talk about your rivalry with Quiggy. Would you imagine the rivalry between Gengar and Quiggy? Because Gengar will be after blood yeah, after, and then, after, after that, wouldn't he? And then one of us would be in, in the same division. Oh, look, well, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just fearing the worst for me. I, I should go and play in America. And, and I'm done with it. Oh, the big girl. The big girl. Go and play in the big girl. i got to go to Australia. Get out, sport. They love it. They love it. Also, go on, sorry. Also known as the big pussy club for European uh, coaches, right? Like, if they, if they don't want to play in the G-Man division, they go to the big O. Uh, Do they? Out of, I don't out of know. Fear. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm just, I'm just saying something. I'm not saying something bad about Big O in general. Just, just, just European coaches that go to the Big O. <laughs> you're, not, you're, not, you're not, you're not saying nothing about Big O, but basically saying that is the easy lead to go into. If you can't man it in G man, <laughs> yeah. they'll go to Big O because Big O sucks. That's what Hunter's just said. You know, this, you know, you hear it here first. Hunter calls out Big O as a big suck division. Um, hey, we need, we, we need to have some, 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 some division rivalry or some, some. 
original rivalry as well, you know, for the for the players. So basically, healthy. basically, what Hunter's saying is the big guy is the equivalent of the Xbox. <laughs> That's what he said, Gaz. That's what he said. One way to make friends. Uh, no, PS4, uh, mate. We've we've won the cross platform couple. At least we've won it once. Um, and I, 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 I. Oh shit! If I say I, I play on there, that'll probably you probably make you your case right, wouldn't it? Um, no, no. It's PS4. We're a bit better stock than that. Um, but uh, you know, basically, yeah. He's saying that bigger's Xbox. So there you go. Nice, 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 nice to, nice to. I guess we won't be getting any votes from Big O then this year. Um, although I love you, Crusader. You're my favourite. So there you go. I love Crusader. I did, I did chat mm. with him um, on one of the. They're, they're good lads. The the RC lads are good lads. We uh, we did a cross platform cup together. I think it was, and like after the game, we were still talked to each other for about an hour and a half afterwards on various topics. Yeah. And this this is what I say, you know, when we do stuff like recaps and, and, and stuff like that. And we've done it as well with a few of the recap guys, haven't we, after the after the game or before the before we do the show off air, we chat to him for ages and you know and that's why I like about doing stuff like this. And obviously Crusader, what a character he is, he's he's awesome. Um but regarding Quigranus, I, I my fingers are crossed, everything's crossed, I hope you do well. But whatever happens, win lose, win or lose you should be proud of what you've done this season. And um, I'm proud of you, dude. And I really wish you the best uh, for next season as well. And you've got a good team there. And hopefully, uh, you know, Thanos will get himself a nice juicy block next as well when he levels up after crushing a few Wood Elf skulls in the first game. So, uh, well done. And the postman, he's still there. Um, anything you want to say before we move on? No, I wish him, I just wish him the best of luck for next season. Uh, yeah. And if you're in his division, Kun's going to kill you. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right then. So here's a team. What you know, um, Hunter has been having a love affair with for the last four weeks. The Nuffles Yellowhorns. Um, they've been doing amazing. Um... Well, like like I said, uh, I've been predicting their up up uprising. Mm-hmm. Like um, when I saw the team, I was like, well, this is actually a team all of the bigger coaches yeah. are gonna have trouble with. In, yeah. in some way. What, and that what, is because of the utility. Well, I'm going to say, I forgot to say, Kruanis, um, uh, his team lost Tepfly. He was dead. He was just a normal skink. And the postman got injured in that game due to a lot of jealous people in the crowd who were very ugly. And postman's extremely handsome and extremely good-looking guy, probably the most good-looking skink in the world. And they mobbed him and fired <laughs> him, I think. So um, postman's back for the playoffs. Go postman, win it for him. Um, I forgot to say that. So sorry. Uh, back to the Yellow Horns. Yeah, you like these because they made you look like a good tipster. Let's be honest. Every time you've tipped them, they've done it well. Well, yeah, but it's it's it was kind of it, it it didn't seem like a surprise that they won't from from any of those teams, did it? Was it wasn't it, was it like generally like the top coaches they were playing? He was playing against. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it I wasn't mean, like. He, he had he, he had a good matchup against the Lizards, obviously, beforehand. Um, and he had a good matchup with the Chops, I thought. Uh, the the yeah. outlets, I thought he may struggle with a bit because, obviously, you know, his lack of tackle. But the, the thing with Arctic Antarctica is he's a very good coach. He knows what he's doing. And his, his team's game better and better. It, it's, it still needs some more tackle. He's got two tackle pieces. He probably needs a few more of his beastmen getting that. Uh, he did get two level ups. Number 10 was a level up, and he got movement. So it'd be interesting to see if he we does with that, because that's two movement pieces now. And number 12, he hasn't decided what to go with that yet. Uh, Spiner goes. So it depends what he's rolled. Obviously, dead play would be nice, but if he's rolled a double, dodge might be an interesting pick. Diving tackle might be an interesting off-field pick. Um, yeah. Uh, well, uh, this, uh, except for the diving tackle, you said everything uh, I, I wanted to say, basically. Like, dodge or, or, or dirty player is, mm-hmm. is, is normal here. Yeah, I mean, uh, people uh, don't. I don't know why people have such a bad thing about diving tackle. I love it. I think it's awesome. <laughs> I do. Uh, I, do. I, I, would, I would. I would. I would. rather see it on on something that already has tackle. Yeah, yeah. I I understand on that. I totally understand on that. Um. So you're probably right on that respect. But yeah, dare play. You got to look. You got to look dare players. Um. But hey. But no, it's, it's a really good team. It's only going to get more scarier, and um. I, I, he, by the looks of where he's finished, he missed keeping this division, and that'll be carnage for everybody else next season. Uh, and again, he's another one of those I expect to do really, really well next season, it's, and hopefully it's, it's he'll make the playoffs, that, stroke challenges. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's a guy that potentially can be in the playoffs or in the Challengers Cup. He just needs uh, to perform a bit better early in the season if he does that. 
he's going to be yeah. totally fine. Yeah. Um, right. Again, we, we've got uh, the total original elves, obviously, poor lads. Um, oh God. Uh, number five, second realist play. He got a minus one movement to go with all the rest of the minus one Agilias, minus one AVs, carrying, and probably Niggles as well. Uh, the other guy, I'm gonna, um, I don't even know what they're fucking calling him. Number seven, or whatever you call him, he's an MNG. Um, you want to pronounce that name? I can't fucking pronounce that name. <laughs> okay, here we go. It ran my cock, Galonelum. That fella. Well, he got an MNG, I think. Um, yeah, f- I mean, I'm not going to say much about the same path. Um, I've, oh, by the way, Ben is Kessif, so that's good. Um, total respect for this guy. Total, total respect. If I could give medals for respect, this guy would get it. I mean, I know, yeah. I know Hazard as well, but Hazard's collapse in plays came very later. This guy's had a car crash from almost day one. So that's the reason why he would get it before anybody else. And he's, he's got himself no. some wins as well. You know. Oh yeah, so. I, I would see it as two different medals. Like he definitely earned respect for for finishing the season uh, with a with a team that's consistently been broken, yeah. been broken. Well, I, think, I think has think... been doing it and getting wins as well, hasn't he? So, yeah, I, I he's, get that. He's, he's I been get that. he's been doing upsets. So it's, it's okay, two let's different give him, Let's give him both. Let's, let's give him both a respect medal. Boom, there you go. <laughs> Hunt will pay for it, don't worry. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like I said, I ain't going to say much about this team. We know it's re rolling. All I want to say is good luck for next season, and I hope you get a lot better luck with injuries. Now, then, the um, Sneaky Blinders, they got a nice win. They got a lot of XP. Even what, though they got a lot you, of XP, they only got one level up. What, what do you mean with better luck with injuries, by the way? Do you mean that he needs, needs more injuries? Because no, that, be, that's better looking like he, he doesn't get his team wrecked. <laughs> you know? I'm not like you, you know. We know that you were like, hey man, go into a cage, it's probably gonna be six plus and kill himself, but it'll be great. Um, you know, I, I, I genuinely try and look after my, my coach's players, not like you. You you'll find every way to try and get them killed. Um okay. no, I hope it I hope it is well. Um anyway, Sneaky Blanders, they got one level up. Linda Shelby got big hands. I like that. That's some smart picking. He's only got two heads, so if the ball goes loose, he goes in on two plus, picks him up on a three plus and see yep. you later. So I like that. Um, I hope to keep. I hope he keeps the team next season. Um, and it's good that he got a good win to to finish the season off. So I'm really really happy for that. Uh, ironically, he got no injuries this week, so everything went well yeah. for him, and he got level I, up. So I, I I just hope I just hope he he plays a little bit more solidly. I'm I'm just going to be fair about it. Like if he plays more solidly, this is a team. I'm I'm still stating it. This is a team that that has playoff potential, or challenges cup potential. Like I it is it, a really good team. I think you just can't resist doing the Montanas and throwing. Every time I see him play, he just throws the goblin. And if it works, it's all good. But if it doesn't, he ends up turning the ball over. In the few games I've seen him play, I mean, if, if he if he plays different to that, then I apologise. But every time I've seen him play, it's lob- first turn, lob a goblin. You know, so yeah. first turn in the second half, lob a goblin, try and score. And that is a really low risk reward. Um, where, you know, if you just calm down and play a bit, as you say, a bit, bit more like, you know, conservative. Then he, he would get more wins. But, yeah, definitely. Because the team's good. The team's good. So anyway, good luck next season if you keep them. Michael Lawrence is again a team we know who isn't going to be here. And um, Crabs too. He, he he got Crabs again. He's missing this game. Flea two got <laughs> busted as well. He he's gone. Uh, I can't fucking remember what he got up into. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's out there as well. Like two two two. Flea, Flea two got niggled, and Crabs two got MNG, and got hemorrhoids. Um. So yeah, it, it's is that it? it's that's uh, all they got. No, nah, that, that that wait, what? wait a second. I remember and killed something there, right? Two deaths. It's it's a, there was uh, learners. There was learners. Learners. Okay, yeah. learners. Learners and star players are shit. Do, don't count. Ah, so. Okay. Okay. Great. Um. So again, I um I hope he puts wasp on the market because I think you know someone like Hunter should go for wasp. You know because <laughs> it's wasp. You got to. I know he's got niggle, but look, he's never stopped him before. Um, I hope he gets on the on the market, and I'm sure Krabs too. He there'll be a lot of people wanting him as well. Mighty Blue and Claw, yes please. So uh, but yeah, I'm really impressed the way he's played. And like I said, I had every faith he'd beat Iron Madden this week, and he did. So he's made me not look like an idiot. So that's always good. Um, so yeah, well done to him. Right then, seven seven hundred ninety TV. It's amazing, <sighs> isn't it? He's just awesome, isn't he? You can imagine what he's going to be like next season. Be awesome in in, in Division Five. Um, right, the Moist Owlets, the champions! <laughs> Ooh, congratulations, Aprog, you've done it. You are the champ. And, um, well, what a team. Now, he did. I think he did get some level ups as well. Let's have a look. Do, 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 He got number two. Wet One's got a level up. That got Dauntless. So, yeah, on a war dancer. Yeah, okay. 
we're just we're just humming the Zelda team there. Like when you open a box and do 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 do. I have no idea, man. I don't I've never played Zelda. Oh, okay, okay. No, people I don't, people can be then. disgusted when I've said that now. Number six, he got level for Zelda. Gin Rior, or we're gonna call him. He got diving tackles. So I like that pick. Number seven got a level up. Gossaven, he got sad step, and uh, the throw wasn't missed next game, but obviously because he's in the playoffs, he gets him back by doing an MNG game or whatever crap that is. <laughs> um, team's looking good. It's gonna have a good chance in the playoffs. I even tipped it because obviously I didn't want to curse any of my boys. Um, so um, yeah, uh, it's it's a good yeah, team. It's, it's, a, it, it's I think it, I think he's against a really tough team though as well. Was not yeah. Good for it's him. Kind of, it kind of depends what he gets in the playoffs. Like, um, um, who else at that at that high TV are gonna lose their their the effectiveness a little bit, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's it's gonna be tough seeing uh, what he's gonna face against because like if he faces something like a 1900 team, uh, he might have a really <laughs> bashy team against him, but he's still got, have. I, yeah, I think it's a bashy team. It could be chaos. I think it. I can't, yeah. It's it, imagine, I, when, when imagine, I looked at imagine, the teams. Imagine yeah. having chaos, a really bashy chaos team. And then I'm also also having a wizard, so it's it's gonna be a really hard game for him, yeah. um, regardless of. of I I've, I've every confidence he, he, he can win his game, but I was like, you know what? Even though the Bane's case doesn't really affect Wood Elves, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna this division because it's just division four and they're all against big team. Now I I didn't want to curse any of them because I thought if I could curse the other team and these guys win, I'll feel a lot better. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he's a great coach, and we, we, we spoke to him. He's a great guy and everything, and. Um, I I really hope he, he gets far with this team because I think if he gets past the first uh, round, I think he could go quite deep into the into the into the playoffs. Yeah, I, I do. Is he on your well. side of the? You won't know if he's on your side of the draw, will you? If you can't remember. No, I, I, I'm 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 not sure where he exactly is. I think he's right right bottom bracket, like oh, so on the right side not, of the bottom bracket. So yeah. I'm I'm not gonna face him in a row like. Um, so you two will be in the final then, probably. So either final or semi final. Yeah. It's gonna take a while before I I get to him. Yeah. Yeah. So. There you go. And I think I think we'll both be out at that point. So yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. You better, we'll see. You better go first round, Hunter. You're in trouble if you go first round. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Right. Okay. Thank you, parents. They got themselves a solid one-one draw last game. Uh, they did lose somebody, but I think it might be just been an MNG. Um. <laughs> Number five, sad man. Yeah, it was an MNG. And the thing is, now we know Open Invitational, he will miss the first week of the season, so that's not a good start. Uh, apart from that, though, he was okay, but there's no level up, sadly, for him. Um, like I say, interesting one, this this team started off really, really slow, but then it's, it's come up really well in the last few games, or last four or five games. Uh, there's plenty plenty there for him to work with, um, so it be interesting to see if he stays with this team or not, because I'm not sure what he's doing. But if he does stay with this team... It's, it's an okay team. It's, it's okay definitely team. an okay team. Yeah. And he, again, he, he, Just, I would be very surprised if he goes up where he finishes. So he should be in this division again. So that'll help him. Um, and uh, if he can, like I say, if he can start off a bit quicker next season, who knows? He might have an outside chance of uh, getting the challenge spots. I think. But um, yeah, well done to him. And uh, hopefully, if he keeps this team, good luck for him um, next season. Yep. Right, one team that has made the playoffs, uh, Bonefighter Boo. Uh, horrid to see Zangief die. That was a disaster. Zangief dead, pile on, break, tackle guard, um, stand fan peace. Oh, this is number five got level up, Akuma. He was an ogre. Um, and he's joined the other ogres now. He used to be hidden away somewhere, but he's now joined the rest of them. Um, <laughs> he got level up, he got stand firm. And then it's a car crash. Number seven got a minus one strength. And that was Ken. But because only strength one already, it doesn't really count. Um, so he, been, so he's kept him with his data player. Um, are, are you the, sure? Are, are you sure that was the ogre that was hiding though? Well, I don't care who was hiding. I'm sure it was Akuma. Take, 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 an, take another good look. Oh, is he fucking? He hasn't, has he? Put, put Dudley down, you little bastard. Yeah, you're right. Fucking hell. Good. good <laughs> see, this is why you're in the team. Now, Blanca <laughs> is a wanker, hiding from me. It's not fair. I'm 43. Mrs. <laughs> if my missus ever heard this, she'd be saying, "I told you, you need glasses." Told ya! <laughs> Spec savers, when you to go for your eye test? <laughs> Not wrong with my eyes. She sees this, bloody hell, she'll be dragging me there. Um, yeah, Blanca the wanker, he's still there, that's his name now, bloody. I hope I hope that when we, when we get to recap his division next season, that um, Ed Heffrock is listening to this, and that after, after every game he plays, he just 
replaces the ogres in another position. Like he puts them in another yeah. uh, uh, spot just to, to just to make sure that you have to spot them or freaking hell, we've been make, on time one. Yeah, so good job you spotted that because I fucking didn't. Um, I was just was looking at all the car crashes. Number seven, kill like got minus one strength. Number ten was killed. He was a diamond tackle noblar. And number fifteen, apparently leveled up. Um, sucks a yelling tongue. And he got diamond tackle. So yeah, diamond tackle is a really good thing to give them because obviously with them being really puny, uh, the diamond tackles don't add a minus one. So I mean, diamond yeah. tackle helps. I don't, I, I don't think you get you give them anything else in diving tackle. Maybe you give one. Uh... Well, I, I was I was thought if I play ogres, monoplas either get dare to play on a double, um, or they get diving tackle. So. Um. Yeah. Or or kick off return on a double. It's also an option. Yeah. But, um, so like yeah you have you have you have those options, but like it's it's either the, uh, for for normal it's either diving tackle or just make it a, a one turn on you know sure feet catch. That's yeah. the only thing you can do with them. Yeah. So you don't want too much blood on them because they're, they're gonna get squashed. And that's why I was really impressed with it when, when we dare play out like that. So um, good luck in the uh, in the challenge. Hopefully you'll do well. Oh, here we go then. I am Adam. No oh, man, 2020. Bloody hell, not wrong with his vision with 2020. Um, <laughs> let's have a look. Yes, it was a bad joke, I know. Um, brrr, let's have a look. Where's his carnage? Funny, funny that this team team came after the after the last one where you overlooked the uh, the ogre. So <laughs> with the with the team value. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm trying to find what he's... He must have got level ups. Um, I imagine, here we go. Number 9 got level up. David Antelron. He got block. And uh, number 10, David back from the third. He just keeps fucking dying, that guy. Uh, he got jump up. What's really good, because he gets claw, pal, and all them juicy stuff and makes him even more deadlier. He lost nothing this week. Um, I think I, I read somewhere this, this team caused more casualties than anything else in the full Rebel. That would he not surprise me. He posted something in Discord chat. I, I noticed he has the most, um, he has the most deaths inflicted, inflicted the, the most kills inflicted, right? Was on, that what it was, uh, on the division and in whole G man, yeah, whole G. -man. So, so like he has, he, he has that, and also the most casualties inflicted in most G man in in the whole team. And so he's actually the most lethal team out there. Uh, I tell you what, what's interesting with this team because like I mean I don't know. I don't know who, where, who, which team's going wherever and all this stuff, but I do know one thing they do look at um, is the TV value and the team itself. There's no way this team can stay in Division 4. It's ridiculous. This team now is just scary. Me personally, yeah, but I would be expecting this team to go to Division 2. I, I, I don't think that's that's a tiebreaker for Division, right? Like team value. It's one of the things to look at. No, it, um, the teams themselves. If the teams like this, I'm sure that's what happened to um, Sean Man with his Nagel team after one season as 2000 odd, and they went straight from there to the division I was in. Um, and it was because of his team being so scary. Now this is this team, as we know, has done the most kills and that stuff. You can't keep this team in Division Four. I wouldn't. The question you've got is Division 3 or Division 2. Personally, I'd bang in Division 2. Because then, you know, it can, it can <laughs> or, kill a lot of them. Or just throw them into Division 1 to make sure that uh, that there's more balance in the... <laughs> that would be awesome. Can you imagine this team rocking up in Division 1? And, Hi, guys! I've come yeah, to kill gonna, you all! We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna trim some TV here. Just make sure that everyone else has a chance. <laughs> I think this team should play against Jimmy Fantastic's team. And I think they should play each other every week. For 13 weeks. <laughs> yeah, that, you, that, you that, that, that would that you? would be glorious. I would watch every single one of those. Uh, and I'll tell you what, Iron Madden would probably steamroll over them. Because I think Iron Madden would steamroll roll over everybody. Never mind just just his team. Because uh, when we did the recap, obviously Jimmy's team was really, really good. And we, we really loved that team. And we said, oh, we don't wish we had that team. But I don't think that team's got nothing on this. This team's just... This team is the alpha male. You do not mess with this team. I, 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 I can hear Quiggy going, ah, they're now, I beat them, but yeah, you do want to play this team. He, he finally got some utility as well, so like... It's, he did, it's... what makes it scary, and he, he's, he's on the way to making a ball handle, like, God forbid, as well. Yeah, the only thing the only thing I, I still really want on him is uh, is a wrestle goat, so if he if he, if he he gets one of the of the level ups on the on the rookies, give him yeah. wrestle, um, and, and then wrestle, wrestle strip or wrestle, wrestle tackle, something like that, if he, if he makes something like that, he, he can yeah. uh, securely get the ball of some of, of, of some player and, and stall the game that way, which which will give give him more injuries yeah. too. 
Yeah, we get Gengar be like, you can't kill anyone when we wrestle. Yeah, well, that that's sucks. true, but... But then again, but you like, could, what you could do again, guys, is, is blitz him, wrestle him to the floor, then boot the crap out of him with number 14, David Bucky the second, and you can it's, it's, DP him. It's, exactly, and it's another turn that, that the opponent has to um, pick the ball up and reorganize, and that means it's another team that, or another turn that, that, that you can hit yeah. people on, you know? I just so. think it seems scary. I would love this team. I would just take, I, I want this team. I think they should let me have this team. I'd have so much fun with this team. I don't know. I won't even care for one or not. I'll be just like, hee hee. Let's kill everything. I, I would quite happily play Division 1 with this team. I, they want me in Division I, 1, give me this team. I'll go play in Division 1 with this team. I, I would I would, I would, I would, love to play in the, in the Rebel Rookie League with this team. Like, uh... <laughs> Welcome to Rebel, the fun league, splats! <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to see Gengar cause carnage. Um, I, I would though, honestly, say on a serious note, if I had this team, I would say put me in Division One. I don't care because I'm going to just cause carnage with this team, um, because this is just this is just built to kill, isn't it? Um, yeah. This team would give you nightmares every week, um, but yeah, I really hope he does well. Um, like I said, I don't know what division he is. If he keeps in Division Four, God help them. He's more likely to go to Division Three. Uh, but I think seriously, if it was me doing the thing, is I'd put him in Division Two because this team's too good for. To the lower divisions, and he'd have more chance of making the playoffs as well because they have more spots. Yeah, uh, he's, he's gonna have a good time in any division. Oh, yeah, he's, up, yeah so. he's gonna have a good time. The rest are gonna cry. Um, I ain't gonna say much about Conquerors Revenge. Um, apart from obviously, you know, it was it was it was a, it's a sad end to the season with a three 0 I, I never saw that coming. I uh, preached David as well. He, he he did four casualties and leveled up. Uh, what did preach David get? He got jump up. Oh my god. Oh, I saw one that guy. I'm not gonna get him though. I knew I should have finished last in Rebel. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck my life. So wanted that guy. God damn oh, it. Wow. I'm in a mood now. So wanted that guy. <laughs> can't, can't, can't we, like, you know, fucking, I don't know, grab someone. Um, oh, man. Oh, I'm gutted. I'm gutted. I so want But did you, did, did you have 190k for him, though? Oh, I had the money. I, I would have found a way to get the money, don't you worry. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm sure there's, pe- there's teams what finished less than me. You know, but. Oh man, I love that guy. He's great. Anyway, oh. uh, there was some sadness though. Uh, Mighty Blow, best skill, uh, he died, and he was a strength for a claw guard piece. Um, and I was really peeved off because I thought, you know, if, if he didn't die, someone might have picked him instead of Preacher David, so he'd give me a better chance of getting Preacher David. So just for selfish reasons, and I still say it was selfish of the guy to die as well. Um, well, maybe maybe you're lucky. You never know. No. You never know. Maybe you you'll get lucky. Maybe if I. Tell all the chalk people if if they take Preacher David, I'm gonna tip them every single game, even if I'm not their recapper. I'm gonna curse them every game. Maybe maybe <laughs> just then I might get it. You 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 make a guest appearance each week on their uh, on their show. Yeah. Yep. The, Hi there, it's me again. He doesn't know I'm on. I'm just gonna say I'm tipping you to win. And yeah. we run off. You know they'll end up having to try and lock the chat room as well. Then I'll try and start paying people to get the codes and go in. And then when they, when they're doing the professional stuff, saying yeah, some weird thing. This guy, I'm like no, 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 I'm here. He's gonna win. Bernard's curse. See you, bye. And go. <laughs> yes, that's what I should maybe do. I will do that as well. I will. Yes. Good plan. Good plan. I think it might Definitely. work. And um, triple dub schools. He leveled up as well. Wherever the fuck he is. Um, he got guy. He could have got claw. Fucking hell. Um, but yeah. I really like Ramhard. I love him to bits, and he's going chaos next season. So um, all the best to him, and I know he he will be on before he's back up here kicking ass. So good luck to him, and you never know, I might be able to bribe to one of some of my shows as well because he's a nice tri- guy. Tri- a triple double skills is a bit of a confusing name, though, isn't it? Like, isn't it a double triple skill school? Uh, I don't know. He just wanted to call it that. He should have a triple B banker. That's what I need. Triple B banker. Get that guy on your team. Um. Tabard tell us, bit of an odd season this. Last season he was with us, bad start, great finish. This season, great finish, bad start. Um, you need, if you can get the the good finish of last season with a good start of this season, he might make the playoffs. He didn't lose anything, but he did get a level up the square. Um, I don't know what he's going to do with him. Uh, he's not picked the skill yet. He may get dodge. He may get block. I don't know. Um, might, might fire might fire him. Might fire him. Yeah, because I think yeah. he's got to niggle this guy, could, hasn't he? Could, could, could go anyway with that player. Like. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's got to niggle. I'd probably fire him. Just because, hey. I don't like niggles on um, 
these sort of pieces. I'd probably fire him to be fair, but hey. Um, so yeah, all the best to Tabba Tellers. Hopefully he can get a bit more consistent next season. If he does, he's going to be up there definitely looking at a player for a challenge spot for saying he's a very, very good coach. I mean, both me and Connor have played him. And uh, I wish I wish um, JP Casey all the best. And yeah. that is that for Division 4C. It's over. Oh, sad, sad, sad. But um, <laughs> congratulations to the yeah. Moist Outlet and, and for everybody else in the division because uh, you all made this an amazing experience for myself and Hunter. Yeah. Um, you've all been cool right. dudes. Um, uh, f- thanks to everyone uh, for, for, for being on the show and for listening to us. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been amazing. Yeah, it really has. And hopefully uh, next season we'll, we'll, we'll try and get a division with some of you guys in it. Because that's what I'm going to try and do. I mean, you know, I'm not looking for um, all the big so-called Andy Davos and the uh, the Jimmy Fantastic. I'm looking for for, for coaches who, who oh. we've, had, we've had a good chemistry with. Them. I mean, I, I mean, if you have two divisions, you can do both, of course. No, like but I, I, I want, I, I, you know, I, I know a lot of people go for the the, the the divisions where you know, like this season, everybody wanted the Andy Davos versus Jimmy Fantastic division because they were playing against each other, but. Um, I, I think what I've learned, of, especially this season in both our recaps, is that I'm going to be looking for divisions. And so, forget these are still good players. Um, yeah. But I, I'm, I'll be looking for, for the likes of the Aprogs and, and, and the Ramhards and the Gengars and, and Art, Arctic Attack, all them sort of guys. And I'll be looking to see if I can get their division because obviously they're, they're great guys. And I'd rather have a lot of fun and get some of these guys on the show than, I don't know, go, go recap a Division 1 or something, you know. So, um, Hopefully, well, yeah, I, I will get to see. I mean, there's more chance of getting me than Hunter, unfortunately, for you guys. Sorry. So, there's a good chance <laughs> one of you will get the Bernie's cards again. But um, Hunter will be looking to see some of you guys. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, I'm going to do one division and we'll see how it's. Uh, how yeah. it's uh, we, how can always pop, we can always pop him on, though, if you guys start misbehaving. I can always get him on to tell you all off. So, <laughs> um, you know, or curse the occasional guy like he seems to be doing of late. Just that he doesn't get the flack like I do. But um, exactly. but yeah, it's been a pleasure as always. Thank you again, Hunter. It's been a pleasure. Always yeah. enjoy it when me and you are like, on. Like, likewise, Bernie. It's been an absolute joy. Yeah, and uh, thanks to everybody who came on the show. And thanks to everybody who's given us great um, feedback. And like I said, you know, if, if you if you want to make us feel loved, send a message to Harrison and say you vote for us for the best recap or best stream, whatever, for the awards. I know we won't win it, but just so we can feel loved. Uh, that's me done. That's him done. Stay classy. Good luck to everybody in the playoffs. Good luck for everybody who's re-rolling. Good luck for everybody next season. And who knows? Some of you guys might be playing me or the Hunter. So, hey, even better. Who knows? Who, who knows? knows? Take care, guys, and we'll see you next season. Au revoir. See you around, guys.